Hey guys, welcome to the 38th Autodesk Inventor tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're gonna continue looking at the whole tool. But before we can do that, we're actually gonna have to go ahead and create a work point. And a work point is basically just a special type of point. And this point that we create is going to be the center point of our hole. So in order to create a work point, you're just gonna have to go up here to where it says point and click on the little drop down. And from there, go ahead and select center point of loop of edges and then go ahead and select a loop of edges. And a loop of edges is basically just a bunch of edges that are all connected and form a loop. So this right here would be a loop of edges. And if I were to select this as my loop of edges, then we see that it just creates a work point in the center of those edges right there. So once you have your work point created, just go ahead and go up to the whole tool right here. And then once it loads, go ahead and change the placement to on point. And then you're going to want to go ahead and select your work point that you just created. So my work point is this point right there, so I'm going to go ahead and select it. And then once you have your work point selected, you're going to need to choose a direction. And to choose a direction, you're basically just going to want to select an axis. And this axis that you select is going to be parallel to the hole. So if I wanted my hole to be drilled down into this material right here, I would have to choose an axis that is vertical. So this would be an ideal axis. And obviously if I wanted my hole to be sideways or horizontal, then you do wanna go ahead and select this as your axis or this as your axis. But obviously I want my hole to be drilled down, so I'm gonna go ahead and select this line right here as my axis. And then once you have both your point and your direction selected, it's pretty much the same thing that we've been doing for the past three tutorials. So you can obviously go ahead and edit the height of your hole and um, how wide it is. I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it and click OK. And as soon as I do so, we see that it just drilled that hole right there and the center point of that hole is in fact that work point that we created. All right, so now let's just go up here and go back to the hole tool. And let's just go ahead and drill another hole with a placement on linear. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this as my face and I'll select these two lines as my reference lines. All right, so up until now, we've only been looking at this one type of hole, just the drilled hole, meaning that it just goes straight down and there's nothing special about it. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at this counterbore hole right here. Well, the counterbore hole is essentially two holes. There's a larger hole on top and then obviously the smaller hole at the bottom. And you're probably wondering why you would ever need to use such a thing. Well, you'd use a counterbore hole if you wanted the head of a bolt or something that was going to be going into that hole beneath the surface. So if I were to put a bolt in this hole right here, then the head of that bolt would obviously be above the surface. But if I were to put it in this hole right here, then the head of that bolt would fit perfectly inside of this counterbore right here, and therefore it wouldn't be above the surface. So let's just go ahead and make this counterbore hole dimensioned perfectly to fit this bolt right here. So we're going to have to make this measurement right there a half inch since the head of this bolt right here is a half inch. So as you can see right there, it's dimensioned perfectly. And then we're going to have to make the height of this counterbore to be two tenths of an inch since the height of the head of this bolt is two tenths of an inch. Then we're going to have to make the height of the entire hole one inch so that it fits perfectly in the hole and then finally we're gonna to have to make the width of the smaller hole right here a quarter inch and lastly since this bolt obviously doesn't come to a point at the end we're gonna go ahead and make the bottom of this hole flat alright so if I were to click OK right there and just apply this hole um, then we could fit this bolt perfectly inside of that hole and the head of this bolt would be inside of this counterbore so it wouldn't be above the surface. Alright, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial, so see you guys.